What's going on, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Rob, and we are out here about to launch these kayaks. Everybody else is already on the water. I'm a little slow today. It's like noon. We're coming over to Mary Esther. The wind has been freaking ridiculous down here in the panhandle. Um, so we're gonna give it a go today anyways. We found a couple areas that are kind of protected from the wind. And we're gonna see if we can't find ourselves some sheep's head or maybe some redfish, maybe some flounder. I don't know. My intent is to bring you guys fishing and scuba diving all over the panhandle of florida so if that interests you do me a favor hit that subscribe button down below and uh follow along because we're going all over the place all right so you guys are towards in the bar area yes okay I'm that way. all right mike just told me that there's a ton of sheep's head on this dock down here so i'm gonna go down there i got myself rigged up with the new toadfish convict rod which is five foot 11 medium extra fast tip and I got it spooled with 20 pounds of super slick braid on the 15 pound fluorocarbon leader tied with a number one J hook and I'm using a Shimano sustain 5,000 5,000 because the only difference between a 5,000 and a 4,000 in this model is this power handle and then I also got my mojo inshore tied up with a jig and a white paddle tail so if I can't get the sheep's head that's what I'm going to go for on the reds and the trout. We fish this area pretty hard from everything from shrimp, crabs, oysters, and nothing. So we decided to drop the GoPro and see all these fish down here. We could see them from the surface, but we wanted to drop this GoPro and see what they're doing down there. And they were all just kind of swimming around, not really interested in any of our bait or any of the articles on the pilings either. But as you can see, up here in the shallows, we're probably in eight feet of water, no more than 10. And this place was loaded with sheep's head. And this is all up in the sound too, right up on the docks. There must've been, I don't know, 80 or so just on this one little dock to include quite a few nice redfish. I'm talking overslot, full reds, but nothing wanted to eat. Most likely because it was clear and they could see us up there. But I was using a J-hook with light tackle, and they still weren't going for it. There's some big ones. Check these guys out. Massive numbers. We've been fishing real hard between the bridges, the docks, and everything else, but the weather in the panhandle has not been favorable. And as I was sitting up there thinking, man, if I only had my snorkel, my wetsuit, my spear gun, I'd be taking a couple of these guys home. And just as I thought it, Levi jumped in. All right, fellas, Levi over here has the right idea. These sheep's head aren't biting. The water is crystal clear, as you just saw from underwater footage. So spearing is the way to catch these sheep's head right now. If you want to go for some sheep's head, when they're not biting, get under the water and spear them. Just like that, Levi's bringing fish home for dinner while the rest of us go home skunked. I wish I could have brought you guys some actual fishing content, but sometimes it's Hell just yeah. tough, man. Can't always go out and catch fish. Nice. But if you got a mass snorkel and a spear gun, you can bring some of them home. Until next time, thanks for watching the Active Duty Outdoors. Woo! Yeah.